Hey everyone, it's Diamond from Rock You, and some of you may know from some of my previous reaction videos that I love jazz. And if you didn't know, well, now you know. <laughs> I absolutely love jazz music, and some of my past videos included Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughn, and today I will be taking a look at the jazz legend Chet Baker. Now, Chesney Henry. Chet Baker Jr. was an American jazz trumpeter and vocalist. He did more than sing. He played the trumpet amazing. He is known for creating major innovations in cool jazz, which led him to be nicknamed the Prince of Cool, which is pretty cool, I might say. <laughs> now, cool jazz is a style of modern jazz music that arose in America after World War II. You know, people wanted to relax a little bit after such a, a hectic time in America's history, and it is often recognized as relaxed Relaxed tempos, lighter tones, which is quite different from the upbeat, quick, and complex rhythms and melodies of traditional jazz. For example, what we heard from singers like Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughan, those that I've touched on before. Um, cool jazz also incorporates elements of classical music. So it's a little different from what we're used to, but Chet Baker, he did it well. Now, as a child, Chet Baker first began his music career singing on a church choir. His parents noted he had a keen ear for music and memorized melodies quickly just by listening to the radio. He was eventually given a trombone by his father, and after they decided the instrument was too big, that must have been funny, <laughs> his father replaced the trombone with a trumpet awesome. Now, Chet fell in love with the trumpet and made progress after only two weeks. It was meant to be, clearly. He became known as a natural musician who played the trumpet effortlessly. Everything he did musically was effortlessly, in fact. Now, as Chet grew older, he continued to perform and eventually joined the Jerry Mulligan Quartet in the 1950s. Now, while performing together, Chet and Jerry complemented each other with different melodies rather than playing together in unison. There were a couple famous jazz bands that they made a mark by playing different melodies together. They would be in sync and rhythm and tune, all of that. But Chet and Jerry had a little something different going on. They would just, you know, kind of anticipate what the other might play and then go based on that, creating music just from that alone, it was all just sheer emotion, just fun. I'm pretty sure they had many moments on stage that they just, it was like, wow, I can't believe that happened. But the audience, they, they loved it. They just, they just had such an amazing time listening to their music. Now, throughout the 50s and 60s, Chet went on to tour and record his own albums, including Chet Baker Sings and Chet Baker in Europe. He went all over the world. Now, one of his most signature songs and beloved songs is My Funny Valentine, uh, which earned him the Grammy Hall of Fame Award and induction into the Big Band and Jazz Hall of Fame. Today, in this video, we're going to take a look at his 1964 performance of Time After Time, live in Belgium. I, I love it. Absolutely love this song, and I love how unique he is the way he's able to sing and play the trumpet just bam. So, you're gonna get to see a little bit of both in this video. Let's take a look. Hmm. <laughs> And 
chat, we are so lucky to hear your amazing voice. <laughs> One little quick note. I mean, I always thought every time I would see photos of him or video, I always thought chat was rather handsome. I mean, agree, disagree. I don't know. <laughs> but something about his voice is so soothing. Once again, remember, it's that cool jazz. So let's let's keep listening. <laughs> So lucky to be the one you run to see in the evening when the day. Passing years will show You've kept my love So young, so good And time after time someplace else as I'm listening. <laughs> just looking at the way Chet sang, his his eyes, his face, the way he just, it felt like he was somewhere else. It didn't even feel like he was really in, in the room. It was like he's there, but mentally just his spirit some, was somewhere else within the music. So beautiful. And I felt like he took me there, took me there right with him. And when he begins to play the trumpet, I mean, he looks just so cool and he's sitting in the chair with the trumpet going and it, it really does lull you. It takes you someplace else. He really gets into, gets into the music. And I think it's really, really cool when a singer can in the same breath, you know, pick up another instrument. They may play the piano or the guitar or the trumpet or uh, the flute or, you know, something like that. It's, it's really honestly so cool. And as you know, if you are familiar with Charlie Parker, another very famous jazz instrumentalist, um, he and Chet had some different, very different styles because Chet was more upbeat, more quick, but you know, Chet, he, um, well, Charlie was more upbeat, very quick, but Chet was very, like, just very smooth, smooth, cool, relaxed, took you someplace else. So let's, let's keep taking a listen here.
going to take me a minute to come back to earth here. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's such a gorgeous love song. It's uh, just the way he sang it. It's making me want to do my own cover of the song. I just think it's stunning. And it's an inspiration not only for vocalists to maybe you know, bring an, an additional instrument on stage with them, but it can also be an inspiration to instrumentalists to maybe try singing. You know, if you're taking lessons in, a, in an instrument or, and, you know, you've never tried singing, you're like, nope, I'm solely the piano or just the guitar or whatever you may play. Consider it. You never know. Like, you never know. You may find a new a new way to express, you know, and do both, a little bit of both on stage. And for vocalists, the same thing, a new way to express, a new way to perform. So give it a try. You never know what you may discover. But that's all I have for you. Check out more of Chet Baker, an amazing musician, and listen to My Funny Valentine. Awesome, awesome song. Well, thank you. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.